Thanks for clicking on Zeitgeist. I'm Willie Geist. The Olympic spirit, that centuries-old ideal, is embodied by friendship, fair play, peace, honor, glory, and now, prostitution. You see, gold medals don't come free. An aspiring Olympic champion needs not just the emotional support of family and friends, but also financial backing for the years of training and travel that go into reaching for gold. That's enough with the music. But why trouble your loved ones for that money? when you could chase the Olympic dream simply by opening a brothel and profiting from hookers having sex with strange men. That's what an enterprising young Taekwondo champion is doing in New Zealand. 23-year-old Logan Campbell has opened what he calls a high-end gentleman's club in Auckland. He's doing it to come up with the estimated $200,000 he'll need to get himself to the Summer Games in 2012 in London. Campbell finished in the top 16 in Beijing last summer, but he says just getting there drained his parents financially. Determined to do it on his own this time, Campbell has become a pimp. He prefers, of course, to call himself the owner of a high-class gentleman's club, much like the ones you're seeing here. Now, some New Zealand Taekwondo officials have said the whorehouse may affect Campbell's qualification to be a member of the Olympic team. You know what, maybe New Zealand's Taekwondo elite should get out of the business of squashing young people's Olympic dreams. It should be pointed out here that nothing would look better and more appropriate around the neck of a pimp than a giant gold medal. Here comes the music again. Good luck, New Zealand Taekwondo champion slash pimp Logan Campbell. The world is rooting for you. Turn off the music now. That's Zeitgeist for today. I'll be back here soon with much more of the news you cannot use.